Greetings, it's Naturopath from New Zealand, Eric Backer. Thanks for tuning into my video. We're going to be doing a video today on dosages. So this is going to be a video that probably runs for about four or five minutes. If you're taking dosages of any kind of dietary supplement, I highly recommend you watch this video. Most people will never give you this kind of information. Most clinicians never talk about it. Most companies who, who make formulations never talk about it. Most doctors never talk about it. Most patients never talk about it. In fact, I never hear anyone talking about correct ways of taking dosages, how to build dosages up, how to take them down. It's a sensible approach. This is by no means a new protocol. I first heard about a formalized kind of protocol from a doctor I know well in the States called Dr. Joseph Collins. Dr. Joseph Collins is a very smart doctor, uh, probably America's one of America's foremost herbal formulators um, for hormonal problems with women. You can check out his website, yourhormones.com. It's a very good site. And I've known Joseph for a while now. I think one of the first doctors really to test women for testosterone uh, in the States back in the 80s. Quite a, an intelligent guy. So Joe's protocol uh, is called the 242 protocol. Mine's very similar, and it's based on similar kind of information, but I put my additional you know, bits and pieces in there. So mine really is the induction, the treatment, and the maintenance um, three-stage approach, ITM. So induction, maintenance, uh, induction, treatment, and maintenance. Any kind of dietary supplement you take, regardless of what it is, you need to take a certain dosage, and you need to take it for a certain period of time. I mean, we all know that. But how long do you take something for? How much do you take? When do you take a little bit? When do you take a lot? When do you step it up? When do you step it down? I mean, who tells you this kind of information? Well, when we think about it, an induction makes a lot of sense. So if you're going to take a dietary supplement for a treatment of a specific condition, let's say, for example, that you had a small intestinal bacterial problem, you had candida, um, you've got irritable bowel syndrome, you've got inflammatory bowel syndrome, you've got you know any kind of gut problem, uh, anything particularly relating to this channel I'm talking about, but similarly, it could be a cold or a flu. Um, you know, it could be um, a urinary tract infection. There could be any one of a hundred different type of or thousand different type of treatments that you're looking at taking a dietary supplement for. So that's treatment supplements. Other supplements that we take long term, which are not necessarily treatment, are multivitamin, uh, fish oil, for example. Uh, even some people take vitamin E or magnesium long term. You know, these are quite okay things to do. So let's not confuse the treatment supplements with the long-term daily use supplements. These are entirely different ballgame, okay? We're going to talk about the treatment ones today. So let's say, for example, you've got some formulas like the Kanzita formulas. You may have some of those. You may have Kanzita Remove, Kanzita Restore, and now we're actually, we've just brought out Kanzita Rebuild which will be available, I believe, any day now. I believe it's been manufactured. It's just being shipped to my fulfillment company. So let's say you've got these three formulas and you're thinking, well, Eric, how do I take this stuff? What the hell do I do? I've got these pills now, and what do I do? Do I just take a few here or there? Or So let's just say you've got these formulas and you're confused. You don't know what to do. Well, the induction makes a lot of sense. Induction we do for a lot of things. And I first heard about the word induction, really, I think back in the 80s with the um, uh, the diet by Dr. Atkins, the Dr. Atkins diet. Atkins had an induction phase for a few weeks. So induction is a smart thing. I mean, you do induction when you go to the gym. You do induction when you go to work. So anything you're starting new, you do an induction, which means it takes you normally a few weeks to get used to something. You don't just jump straight in. You don't just get on the diving plank and jump in the water without knowing how deep it is. How dumb is that? So you take care when you do an induction. Induction means many changes are likely to occur in your body. Now the intelligent approach I want you to, um, to get through your head is induction normally is about two weeks. Most people only need 14 days for an induction, particularly with a dietary supplement. In that two week phase, you're going to be making a lot of changes, not just to the fact that you're taking the supplements, changes to your body, but you're making changes also, no doubt, with your diet and your lifestyle. You're probably drinking more water, you're drinking less caffeine. Hopefully you'll have cut alcohol out for a while. You'll Hopefully you'll be getting to bed on time, getting enough sleep. 
you'll be illuminating properly, you'll have good bowel motions, you know, all of these things take time. And the induction is usually a good time to do it. Okay. So in my Candida Crusher book, book, I wrote about the big cleanup, which is like a kind of induction. So induction is normally two weeks. The supplement dosages you're going to take are, are probably one to two per day of each of the formulas. So the Candida Remove, you'll take one tablet once per day or twice per day, depending on your sensitivity. If you're an ultra-sensitive person, you may even want to snap the tablet in half and take a half a tablet per day for three days and then build up to one tablet. But if you're just a regular Joe like me, an average person, you can usually start on two tablets per day of the Kanzita Remove. The Kanzita Restore, you will take two capsules per day, and the Kanzita Rebuild, you will take two tablets per day. This is induction, 14 days. I've got some notes I've written down here. As with all natural medicines, the dosage can be customized for the individual patient, needs of the patient. Occasionally, some patients may find that they only need one tablet per day during the induction phase. Many people start to feel better during this induction phase. So this is when you're actually starting to improve. Okay, now it's important not to be stuck on the lower dosage, okay? Because we want to actually start treatment because we're just doing induction at the moment. Starting at two doses per day gives the body time to heal and get and push you more and more eventually towards a wellness plateau. Good gut health, good immune health, which is what we're looking at. So after that one to two weeks, usually you can jump into the treatment phase, the second phase, okay? To achieve full restoration of health and homeostasis, uh, it's important to maintain consistent and proper dosages of the Kanzita formulations. So the treatment phase recognizes um, that it takes more energy and more intensive therapy to start really turning things around inside your digestive and immune system in particular. So now you need to step the dosages up during treatment. So you've had your induction. You've gone to bed on time, you're starting to look less at Facebook, who's liking you on Facebook all the time, you're switching off your devices, you're going more for walks, you're drinking more water, you're trying to really um, look at the, at the triggers or stresses in your life. You've made a lot of changes, you've come a long way because you're becoming more uh, wellness interested. Now is when you push the dosage up. Push a little bit harder, okay, because we want to do treatment now. The treatment dosage for the Kanzita formulations is between three to four doses per day. So this is either tablets or capsules, depending on what the formula is. <clears throat> this should be done ideally between two to four months. I think four months is usually a good treatment phase. As with all natural medicines, the dosage can be further customized to suit the individuality of the patient. Occasionally, some people find that two doses is better and others find that four doses is better. You need to work out what feels good for you. Once you experience a high level of function and an improved quality of life, okay, um, it's good to stay on this four dose rule, particularly um, you know, between three to four doses per day for up to four months. Especially important if you've got a history of relapses. So if you're a person who feels really good when you take something, but then you come off and you feel like crap again, well then stay on the higher dosage for longer. And while you're in the maintenance phase, I want you to really go to town on your lifestyle habits. So now is when you're really going to carefully and critically assess what you're doing that could help to keep you in that relapse state. You know, Maybe you're one of those people who starts coming right, like some of my patients, and then you go out and have champagne or do something crazy like that. You have a whole bottle of champagne. You know? I've heard it all before from people. That's the danger period. I've spoken about this. Getting well improving health and then thinking yee I feel awesome and then going out and then blowing it all away it happens so be careful once you've felt better consistently for several months then it's time really to start looking at the maintenance phase but first remember I want you to have a consistent long-term feeling of well-being okay and it's important that you feel good for a long period of time before you cut the dosages back to the maintenance phase so it's like a really reverse induction. We're going the other way, all right? So the maintenance phase recognizes that the restorative uh, dosage that was required to increase level of function and improve the quality of life is typically not required for long-term maintenance. You don't need to be staying on a, on a higher end of dosages for a long, long, long time. Anyone who tells you that is wrong. You don't need that because then that's not treatment, okay? 
that's just basically sucking suckering you into a product long term well you don't need to do that I really don't believe that any kind of natural approach should um, include long term many years of treatment people who tell me they've been on some supplement for you know a certain amount of time or many years for a treatment are seeing the wrong kind of person or they've got the wrong kind of protocol right they're not putting everything into play that allows the body to heal when a patient says i've been feeling great for four months then it's time to take to, to start cutting the dosage back especially when people start asking about how long they need to take something for if you tell me how long you need to be taking something for you need to be first telling me that you're feeling pretty darn good before you're thinking about cutting the dosage back okay occasionally a patient may need to stay on the maintenance um, well really on the treatment phase for longer than four months and occasionally for shorter some people need longer treatment some people need a little bit shorter as with all natural medicines as I mentioned before the dosages need to adjust it you know, to suit you so um, occasionally there will be a patient that will feel better on three to four doses long term so this can be really an extended treatment as I mentioned so some people I, I know have been on the Kanzita formulas for two years at a high dosage and they're feeling absolutely amazing and when they cut the dosage back they don't feel good at all others feel really good on one dose per day so you need to work out how you feel I've got a patient who breaks the Kanzita remove tablet in half who's on a cancer treatment, who's feeling fantastic with half a, a tablet in the morning, keeps his tongue all nice, and he'll probably stay on that for many, many years. So you need to really customize a protocol. But remember, induction, treatment, maintenance, intelligence. Okay? So I hope that gives you a little bit of an impro uh, approach and understanding on really how to take dosages. Multivitamin, the Candida Rebuild, for example, is a Candida Multi. You can take that for many years long term, one dose per day. The Kanzita Restore, that's the probiotic enzyme blend. Once you get to the maintenance phase and you're feeling awesome, you can take one capsule per day, long term, as long as you want. That's not a problem. The Kanzita Remove, however, is a very strong product. You may not want to take that one long term every single day. But like one of my patients, Bob, you can just break the tablet in half and take half a tablet every day for as long as you want. A lot of people will, will be able to tolerate one tablet per day long term as well. But first remember, you've got to get the induction right, the lifestyle and diet changes correct first, then you do the treatment, make more adjustments and changes, treat as long as you need, then you step down to a maintenance phase. Maintenance phase implies that you're feeling good, you're just fine-tuning the dosage on the lower end to stay good for a long time. And that's that ITM treatment protocol. So I hope that gives you some good information. Thank you so much for tuning into my video.